Als we niet wat ik denk, is fijn. Something you don't see very often. Raining in the Kalari. Good morning guys, welcome to Africa Sportsman Show. Standing in a very wet Kalari. It was so nice this morning, waking up folly. Um, it was a pity you didn't bring me a cup of coffee that early, <laughs> but um, Yes, it was so nice waking up. Uh, it's it's uh, it's January month, and it's not very often that you see a client wearing a jacket in January in the Kalaria. Am I right? Yeah, in the middle of the summer. Um, yeah, and we're standing here in the rain. It just stopped raining now, but you can see all around us the grass, green, lush. Uh, they had a lot of rain. I think Harvey said uh, something like close to 300 millimeters yeah, from, from September. September. <clears throat> so yeah, it's, it's really it's a privilege standing here. Uh, in the Kalahari, in the rain, um, and next to me here is uh, Umfulia, uh, our client. Um, and yeah, this, today we're going out uh, see what we can get. We're here for a lion yeah. hunt, um, and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see. Umfulia, uh, it's our second time here in the Kalahari. We did it in, back in 2020. Um, and it was also raining, so we're joking about it, saying yeah, every time we come here, it, it starts raining. Uh, but in any case, yeah, we're looking forward to a great hunt. And um, yeah, tell us a little bit about the rifle that you, you brought with. The rifle is a 375 Holland and Holland, 300 grain, grain soft point uh, ammunition. Uh, perfect for a lion hunt. So with these wonderful PHs around me, uh, that's Africa Safari, uh, I believe he will be successful. And so yeah, good luck, shoot straight. Thank you very yeah. much. See each other in the field. Thanks. All right. <laughs> How's that? Um, yeah, so basically the plan this morning is uh, we'll drive around till we find fresh tracks. Uh, two trackers in the front uh, looking for the tracks as we drive around. Uh, when we find the fresh tracks, then obviously we will start uh, get off and, and, and start following the line. Um, and yeah, so basically this morning, after the nice rain we had, uh, seeing fresh tracks makes it a little bit easier. Uh, but yeah, we're just going to drive around now till we till we get uh, the fresh tracks, and, and then everything will start. And now you can see the grass, how it looks now compared to back then. I mean, there was nothing. It was, you know, made it a bit yeah, easier, but... Uh, nearly desert, eh? Yeah. So, yeah, it's remarkable. Um, yeah, we uh, here in, at Kalari Pride, here in the deep Kalari, close to the Botswana border. Uh, today we we on the tracks of a of a lion, male lion, and, and yeah, to my left here is Patrick, the main tracker, uh, exceptional tracker by that as well. Uh, and then Harvey, he's our the local PH on the farm. So so yeah, just introducing you guys, and then here to my left is Umfulia, he's a client. Um, so yeah, we, we're on the track of the mail now and, and yeah, just going to start following the tracks and see what happens.
Nie ma wody. Nie ma wody. Ok, Faria. Faria. Anerika to ma. Ok, mnie nie łóżki też. Nie łóżki też. Nie, 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 nie. What a great experience. On the foot. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you very much. Not often you get the opportunity to shoot such a big male lion. And uh, I'm thankful that it was successful. Um, great opportunity and uh, great experience. Silja, congratulations on a on a great shot and on a magnificent lion, Fali, uh, for putting up this hunt for him. Silja, it was quite a drive, you know, from 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 the Cape all yeah. the way up here uh, to the Kalari. But congratulations, very well shot. Tell us a little bit about the hunt, Fali. Um, yeah, we this morning we went out driving around uh, looking for tracks. Um, we found the tracks, uh, got off, found the spot where the lion was resting during the night and this morning um, and yeah you know sometimes you walk 20-30 kilometers other times you walk just a few kilometers and we yeah. were fortunate this line didn't go too far from the place where it was bedded yeah. but you, you guys actually saw him disappear into some bushes yes. and actually headed 
that way. That way, and, and then he surprised you, eh? Yeah, and then he came back uh, on his tracks again, and he laid up here in the bush, and as we came through, we nearly walked into him, because we were focused on the spot where he disappeared, and luckily, Patrick and Harvey saw him uh, quickly. Yeah. Uh, the angle wasn't that nice, so we had to maneuver around a bit to, to get a, a, a side-on shot. And with a big mane like this as well, it's also uh, difficult to, yeah, to determine to, where to place the shot. Yeah, but... Uh, yeah, luckily Umfulia put a great shot into it um, and we gave it a second shot just for backup. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it was, a, it was a great hunt, exciting, always exciting walking on Alliance tracks. Uh, but yeah, great shooting and congratulations. Congratulations you, to you also, Fali. Thank you. Um, so yeah. Thank well you. done, great shot. Thank you very much. Um, thanks for all your support and organizing. It's uh, much appreciated. You don't often find a nice my line like this. This was a great opportunity and a, a great aunt. And, uh, yeah, Harvey, thanks to you guys, Harvey, coming here. Um, yeah, it's always a pleasure hunting here at uh, Kalari Pride with Harvey and his team, the very professional uh, team they've got, uh, Hat and Patrick, the trackers, and, and Harvey. Yeah, thanks a lot. We really do appreciate it. It's yes. always fun. Thank it's you. It's a pleasure, man. Congratulations. Um, so yeah, that great shot. Yeah. Great lion. Thank Deb you very much. Definitely not the last one. Yeah. Nope. He'll <laughs> keep coming back. Thanks, Kavi. Welcome to yet another episode on our uh, Africa Sportsman Show. Fali, owner of That's Africa Safaris, thanks for having us here in the Kalari. No, no, thanks for coming, guys. It's a great pleasure. It's a uh, yeah, privilege having you guys here yeah. in this uh, beautiful Kalari as it's now. Robert is standing here with us. Um, <coughs> the guys who regularly watch our show will know uh, Robert's dad. You'll probably see him a little bit later on the, on the video. Richard Eels, very good mate of mine. So, Robert, you're here for your, for your first line. You've done a couple of big game hunts, but this is the first line, eh? Yeah. And uh, you ready? Yeah, ready. Listen, tell us a little bit about the gun you brought. It's an interesting looking rifle. Tell us about the caliber, the setup, and the scope. So it's a 416 Rigby, uh, shooting a 400 grain Swift A-frame. Okay. Uh, got the Leopold uh, 5H scope on there. Yeah. yeah. So it's a one, it's a one to five magnification. Perfect for this, for this kind of setup. Farley, mm. it is quite thick. Um, you're looking for a female. Or lioness, so with a with a Kalari being lusciously green here, and and the grass tall, yeah, you yeah. might you might need that one magnification somewhere. No, no, week. definitely the shots won't be that far. I mean, as yeah. you can see behind us, how thick the bushes, the grass is, nice and tall. So yeah, we're expecting anything from 30 yards and closer. So uh, and the 416 is ideal caliber. It's uh, one of my favorite calibers. Yeah, and, and it's uh, a proper bullet. I mean, the Swift A-frame yeah, is, is a tried and tested bullet. So definitely one of the best. We're hunting here with uh, with with Harvey as well. Yeah, Harvey here at Kalari Pride. Uh, yeah. it's great to be back here. Uh, so yeah, no, let's go have some fun. So you sighted in your rifle this morning. You dead on it at, uh, at <coughs> 25 meters. I don't think you're going to shoot that far. Really, I really think the shot's going to be closer than that. Finally, we had some rain, some rain again this morning. Yes. So um, we waited a little bit. Um, we're going to do the afternoon session, <coughs> and yeah, we're starting from scratch. Uh, we need to find find the tracks first. I think uh, there's there's two lionesses. Uh, am I right? So two, two females. Which um, whichever which whichever track we find now, we know we can take it. Am take I right? It, yeah. So definitely driving around again, looking for tracks and. Uh, 
as soon as we pick up the fresh tracks, then off we go. We'll take it from there. Yeah. All right. All right. Enjoy. All right, uh, guys, we got the fresh tracks where she went over the road, so she's in here. Um, so yeah, basically, we're going to walk it, um, see how far, <coughs> and try and track it down, see what we can get. Perfect. Kay. Good luck. Shoot straight. So yeah, just a couple of things. Um, I always stay in a straight line. If we walk the side around the bush, I will also tell you guys, let's all walk that way. Just stick together. Um, to the basics. Thank you. 
Congratulations. <laughs> turned in the tree and she gave a perfect uh, broadside shot. Yeah, they, well, that was a sitter. I yeah, mean, that I could clearly yeah. see the impact and I'm sure you can yeah. see it on the slow-mo as well, but uh, great shooting, eh? great, great shooting. Proper caliber, yeah. Polly. Yeah. Four and six rugby. Yes, yeah. on that frontal shot, Richard. That's a. And uh, you made a perfect shot. Yeah, great well shot. Done. Great uh, shot. Yeah. Harvey, I always back wanted back. to ask you. Um, <coughs> I've, I've done a, a few of these hunts, Polly. You as well. How often does a lion get in a tree? Obviously, we we saw her. I don't know what, 200 meters back. She was yeah. she was better down yeah. and obviously we, we needed to get in close and she took off so she obviously got a fright and this was this was probably the way she, she you know she thought the, the escape route were so does it happen often or is it I mean it's in any no. no ways you can tell in any case yeah not really that much okay it depends, uh, I think because of the brass and thickness and stock maybe you can hear us you yeah. can't see and then you get up in the tree maybe yeah. you can see but she wasn't happy on? no she wasn't happy at all no she was. Uh, I think if we try to get a bit closer, she might, <laughs> might have jumped out. Uh, but yeah, no, it's a... Uh, so, funny story, my first line was a lioness. Oh, she shot out the tree. Okay. <laughs> Family tradition. <laughs> like father, like son. So, no, yeah, congratulations. Yeah, well done, yeah. well done. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, that was great. Like, yeah. a, like a walk there. Yeah, yeah I know. First time a, you saw it? A, yes, I got a fright though. <laughs> only, you only, can't saw, see, yeah. only saw the top part of the head and the two ears. Yeah, all yeah. Yeah. Yes, Patrick spotted that yeah. cat well. But that was, like was 15 paces away, yeah. 15, yeah. 20 paces away. That was unfortunately one couldn't take a shot there because she was right in the bush. So. Yeah, you couldn't see her body. <laughs> but she wasn't happy with us. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
Robert, <laughs> once again, congratulations. Um, thanks for letting us tag along on your hunt. Uh, I think it was a, I think it was a lack hunt. It was great filming it. I think we got some really decent footage, and um, you still can't get that smile off your face. <laughs> yeah. So, I believe you had a good time. But and then obviously congratulations on 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 some good shots. It was fairly close. We estimated it now just 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 uh, just around about 20 paces. So, um, but still, you know, good shooting, both shots on the money, and both of them. Obviously, the the broadside one we all suspected would exit, but um, the frontal shot exited just here before the hip. Yeah. So, uh, proper bullet and proper shooting. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, congratulations. Excellent shooting. That was well done. Yeah, it's a privilege having you guys here. Yeah, and spending it and with your dad as well. Also, Richard, uh, join your son. <laughs> Come in here. It's, uh, yeah, let's hear, let's hear from the dad. Uh, <clears throat> you did the whole hunt with us, Richard. Yeah, um, I think it's a privilege sharing this special occasion with your dad. Let's move up a bit. <clears throat> yeah. um, uh, How was the hunt for you? Yeah, it was a good hunt. All the many years of work have finally paid off. Yeah. yeah. He made the right shot at the right time. So I'm really chuffed for him. I'm very yeah. happy for him. Yeah. And uh, yeah, thanks to Farley and Harvey for uh, giving us the opportunity and the privilege. I really no, appreciate it's, uh, it. It's a big pleasure and it's a privilege having you guys here. Well, thanks everyone. Thank you all for watching yeah. and uh, keep subscribing to our channel. And just before you go, a big shout out to our friend Martin from African Sun Productions behind the camera. Martin, uh, this is. Uh, I don't know how many dangerous game hunts we've shared, but it's always nice having you there as a cameraman, knowing that uh, every moment of a, of a special memory like this will be captured. Thank you to you as well. See you next time. Op je leeuwje achter. Op je Roberto. En dan jou. Richard. 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 Ja. En Fali en Gavi. Jullie zijn twee eistermannen. Het is lekker om samen met jullie te jagen. Baie dank. Over. Martin achter die camera. Het is baie lekker. Het is lekker om samen met jullie over te spannen. Het is lekker om samen met Good morning, Fari. Good morning, Stefan. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing that wakes you up like a 500 in the morning, yeah. to be honest. No, nice alarm to get. <laughs> Welcome to our show. I'm standing here with Fali Insulin. He's the owner um, and the PH of uh, That's Africa Safaris. Fali, thanks for having us here in the Kalari. Yeah, yeah. no, it's uh, great having you guys back here. And, uh, yeah, We're looking for Lioness. Yeah, so... Um, My we... first big game hunt with you. We've been friends for a while and... Uh, We've done some shooting and some hunting together, but this this will be the first big game. Yeah, big and, game uh, game. yeah, first first big game for us together, and yeah, yeah looking forward to. You're gonna you're gonna carry your Bernie yeah. as well. Uh, Farley shoots a 470, Nitro Express in a Bernie. I have my 500 yeah, oh, it's right on the money. So um, really looking forward to the day, Farley. We have some good fr good friends with us yeah. on on the hunt as well, and uh, we're looking for one or two planes game as well. But we're gonna focus on the line this morning. Start driving. Looking for fresh tracks. Uh, obviously, with the with the rain from yesterday, the tracks mm. are very limited. So, what we find this morning will be fresh yeah, enough to, to start with. To start following, yeah, we will not drive around. 
uh, till we get the fresh tracks and then yeah, then we'll get off and, and, and start walking. Looking forward to it. Let's go. 100. Probably what happened this morning is we were still looking for tracks and somebody spotted the lioness of the truck. Yeah. About a hundred paces in here. So um, we know where she was a minute or two ago. So we just stopped here. Everything's ready and we're going to try and pick up the track there. Fresher than that you won't get it. Eh? Won't get, yeah. I know we were fortunate as we were coming in. Uh, we saw the lioness. Yeah. Like you said, about a hundred and 150 yards in. And uh, yeah, when we stopped, she just sunk down and went. So, <coughs> so I think it's going to be an exciting day. <laughs> For sure. Uh, let's get loaded up. And yeah, let's get, let's get started. Right. Okay, so this is obviously where we spotted her this morning. The track is still facing this way. We're standing, looking towards us, obviously, and then turn around and you can see the, the running track going in here. So, yeah, so now we're going to start. Please try not to kill me this morning. <laughs> All right, let's go. Enjoy. One thing you will see, often because of the humidity and obviously the rain yesterday, the grass is quite wet. I mean, look at my shoes and my gaiters, all, all, all wet. So more often than not, a cat will try and get a road, either a, a big road like this or a game track, try and stay out of the wet, the wet grass. I don't like getting wet. We're on this cat, I mean, this is a, this is a running track, so she most definitely knows we're on her. On the lion's tracks, um, and then the copper springbok was actually lying down, if I'm yeah. not mistaken. And the lion just passed a couple of meters. Strange how it works sometimes. Listen, we, we passed, I don't know, half an hour ago, there were some sables running. Yeah. You think you think the lion spooked it? Yeah, I think he was just caught in the runaway, he just went to the back. Yeah. Behind them past. He's giving us a run for our money, eh, Fali? Mm, no, I'm sweating quite a <laughs> bit here, the humidity is in your... Let's blame it on the humidity, That's not anything else. <laughs>
<laughs> talking about getting water and then walking yeah. right into your life. Thanks, <laughs> Absolutely worth it. Yes, it was quite close, eh? Oh. She was just fed up. Oh, yeah. Tired oh, yeah. as well, <laughs> I believe. Yeah, but Tommy said back there she was looking. Yeah, you can yeah, see yeah, she was looking for yeah. a spot. This is the first time she laid down in, I don't know what, three hours or how long have we been going? Yeah, yes, sir. Probably, yeah. Nothing like a like a nice walk in the in the <laughs> summer in the Kalahari. Yeah. So, Harvey, thank you That's so much. A, it was a pleasure. Harvey, thanks, bud. No, it's a pleasure. Yeah, it was a it was Glad a decent hunt. It. Yeah, we worked for it. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Patrick, I just wanna I just wanna come here. I just wanna congratulate you, especially on that one. I mean, you guys are are, are something else here in the in the Kalahari, but but that spot where you that spot where you um. You stopped and you felt the sand and you said, ah, no, no, something's not right. And uh, we, we immediately backed up on the track, got back to that patch where we lost it. And a minute or two later, you, you guys actually found the right track. It was, it was awesome to see, Robert. Congratulations. Oh my god. 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 Oh Hornady DGX ammo. Yeah, I use the Hornady solids. Um, yeah, on, they on print as well. They so. print the same out of the double, and that's yeah. that's quite important for somebody like yourself. Yeah. Um, so. But I mean, they they devastating bullets. It looks like you've been using them now for a while. Mm. Dug them out of a few buffalo, and 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 they work well. And I mean, this, on yeah. this cat, I think we're gonna find the one that the, the frontal shot. Chances are good we're gonna find it. But um, no, devastate, devastating bullet. caliber and a, and a yeah. good bullet. Yeah. No, definitely. Polly, thank you so much, Omar. It yeah. was a, it was a, it was a g great couple of days in the Kalahari, and, and today um, this lion actually surprised us. I was sitting with Patrick in the front, um, just checking for some spoor, and the guys actually spotted this lioness from the vehicle, yeah. and from the word go, she was running. Eh? Yeah. No, it's a, no, it's a great pleasure having you guys here. I'm glad you enjoyed it, and uh, yeah, no, it was a, it was a fun hunt. Great hunt. Uh, yeah, we sure. were fortunate to to spot her, uh, so that saved us a bit of time. Yeah, we started uh, time. earlier, and uh, we took the tracks, and uh, yeah, and the fun started. And but, we this, but this team here at Kalari Pride, Gavi, where's Gavi? Gavi, get in here. <laughs> Always fun hunting with these guys. I mean, it's just Gavi. Um, Gavi's got a gift from above that he does not get tired, and um, yeah, I think yeah. uh, I think that's a good that's a good. Um, it's a good thing to have if you're hunting lion. You you need you need to stay on top of the of you know of the of the whole the whole hunt and the whole approach and the whole stalk and and, and the whole chase. So, Harvey, thank you so much. You and your team, you really know how to how to turn oh. something like you know like a lion hunt into a, into an unforgettable memory. So, thank you from my side again, once again. That's a pleasure. <laughs> yeah, from my side as well, Harvey. Thank you. Uh, it's always a pleasure hunting with you guys. Uh, and yeah, we. We nearly walked into this line, uh, yeah. as you can see the vegetation and that. We were actually joking, we were asking for water yeah. uh, way back and then all of a sudden, yes You see was. the two trackers standing dead still and you yeah. know there's something <laughs> in front. Yeah. And it's nice having a double gun in your hands, hunting hunting dangerous game, so yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. Great Thanks fun. for joining Thank us. You. This is Africa Sportsman Show and that's Africa Safari. <laughs> <laughs> wanting to say that for the whole week thank you guys for watching uh, keep following our channel see you next time
Let's have a good one. Quickly gonna check his 375 again. Yeah. Um, make sure it's spot on. We're using a different bullet uh, for the planes game, so we just want to mm. make sure it's sighted in. Uh, and the plan is to take the ledge with a 375, and then later on we'll, we'll have a look on full year. It's got a very nice 450 Rigby, um, which he wants to use on the on the Zebra. It's a beautiful gun. So yeah, we just. Get and it and um, the last few days we saw some. Some really good blessed buck here, Polly. I mean, yeah, uh, the Kalari is not. I mean, it's not. Yeah, it's not really yeah. home to the blessed buck, but yeah, for yeah, some for some reason they are thriving here and they uh, they're yeah, doing yeah, good. Yeah. They got some big bodies and uh, and and we, we saw some <coughs> really good blessed buck. So that's maybe also on the list. So yeah, no, definitely. Um, and like you say, the Kalari is not known for for blessed buck, good blessed buck, but they've got excellent blessed buck here. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we're not always just hunting for the inches, but we've taken 19 inch plus. Plus, uh, place back here, so um, yeah, we'll see. What really looking happen. forward to the day. Well, good luck, uh, shoot straight. Ja, het lijkt. Nee, het lijkt. Het lijkt niet goed. Dat is heel. Baie gelijk. Mooi. Heel mooi. Dank u wel. Dank u wel. It's a big pleasure. Uh, it's a great shooting and a great stalk. Well done. Well, 
Mufuya, congratulations on a beautiful lechwe and a great hunt, great stalk. Um, this morning uh, we struggled to get hold of them. Uh, they were set up in this thick swatak here. Uh, eventually we spotted them. Uh, Patrick and Gert uh, took their tracks and uh, we started following them up and down for a while. And eventually we, we got them where they were bedded down uh, and we were able to to make a, a great stalk on them. The wind wasn't that favorable. Uh, but yeah, one made a mistake, stepped out into a, a slight little clearing, clearing <coughs> and uh, one was able to make a superb shot. Well done and, and congratulations on this beautiful trophy. Thank you so much. Well done. It was long in planning and uh, in the end it happened, but they were very clever. It took us quite a while to get this beautiful animal. Let me your little bit of a 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 little bit of Um, okay, we spotted the herd uh, of placeback now, all males, uh, and there's two, three of them, that's very big, we judged them to be 18 inches plus, uh, they moved off slightly now, so we're gonna tackle them on foot, see if we can get a shot and get close and, and take one of them, so yeah, that's the plan. Yeah, we were tracking the uh, blessed buck and they mingled with a bunch of females and then they split up again. <coughs> so it's difficult now to follow the right track. So uh, yeah, we're calling in the vehicle again.
Well, good morning. Um, we just found a head of Blazebok. Richard, um, you guys have been uh, looking for Bla for Blazebok yesterday, and uh, we saw a, a ram head this morning. Folly, there might be a, a big one in there. So the wind is right. We just stopped the vehicle here. You guys are gonna have a walk in, eh? Yeah, we gonna take a quick walk and see if yeah. we can get close, spot the nice ram, and then see if we can make the shot. Best of luck. Thank Shoot you. straight. Okay, this is what we call in Afrikaans a Risenki Bosch. Uh, I don't know if it directly translated to English, it's a raisin, raisin bush. Uh, yeah, and it makes these little fruits, which are quite sweet and uh, nice to eat. So yeah, that's what Gavi is doing now. <laughs> Shot him in the head. Okay. Nice beginning. Oh, very nice. Beautiful. We got back out this afternoon again. Uh, driving around for a while, we found another herd of uh, rams. <coughs> put in a stalk, um, got busted a couple of times, uh, but eventually it paid off. We, we got in a shot, made a superb shot on this Blesbuck ram, which is a magnificent trophy. And uh, yeah, uh, Blesbuck hunting here in the Kalahari in the bush, it's not easy. Uh, I mean, they proved it to us today. Um, the bush is quite thick, so you, you only get a certain uh, tunnel which you can shoot through, and then one is in front of the other one moving around making it difficult but eventually we got the opportunity and you took it well done great shooting and thank great you very country. much thank Pleasure. you yeah folly uh, just a big thank you to that's africa safaris and kalahari pride um you guys put on a really good show um, um lots of dedication and uh, lots of good animals and good hunting so thank you very much that's a pleasure it. it's, it's fun having you guys here thank you folly we're standing here on the last evening um of a wonderful week with you guys here in the Kalahari. That's Africa Safaris and the guys from Kalahari Pride as well. Uh, it, it was a great week. We had, uh, we had so much fun. Um, every, every hunt went well. All the shots went well. So uh, it was a memorable week. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. You're a good mate. You're a good friend. You're a good hunter and you love what you're doing. You, what you're doing and it's, um, it's, uh, it's a privilege hunting with you and I'm sure we'll, we'll do this very soon again. Oh, no, thank you, Stefan. Uh, it's great having you guys here, and it was a privilege and uh, pleasure hunting with you. And uh, you're also in the Kalahari, like it is now. I mean, you don't often see it like that. So uh, it is absolutely standing, yeah, it's, yeah, it's beautiful with it, with the sun setting. You know, here behind the clouds, and we're going to have a, a nice bride. We're swapping the the luxury of of uh, of the lodge this evening for some T-bones here. Uh, 
out the next to this, yeah, yeah, in in the green green Kalari. So, yeah. thank you so much, Folly, and I hope we can do this soon again. Yeah. Pleasure. Cheers, Omar. Cheers.